Hi, everyone. Greetings from Aptionix. Here is the overview of our delivery dispatcher panel that is fit for multiple on-demand delivery services. Now, be it for food delivery, flower delivery, grocery delivery, last mile delivery, medicine delivery or delivering anything else, Aptionix delivery dispatcher panel is your best fit solution. So let us get started and explore how the admin panel of our delivery dispatcher works for your business. To begin with, to the left, we have the entire admin panel. Therefore, let us see what we have in each section. Dashboard in the dashboard section. You will have a clear display of the driver's booking details, the active driver's location, and the details of the driver team. Besides this, you can easily assign a driver for a new booking via the team booking module. Apart from that, towards the right, you have the My Profile section from where you can have a clear glimpse of the details of the entire business panel. The right section. In this section, you will have a clear display of all the booking statuses, be it pending scheduled, ongoing, completed and cancel request. Apart from this, you can make dummy bookings by putting in some basic details, and you can download these dummy templates right from here. Also, you will find a search and filter option from where you can search for various ids pertaining to the zones, tags, locations, radius drivers, and the customer details. On top of that, you can also delete a booking or share it to various social media platforms. Now, you can add new bookings by putting in some details manually, and you will see a new right is created. Next comes the customer module. In this section, you can have a clear note of all the customer details starting from the image, name, customer's number, total ride count, last ride count and the total amount spent. You also get an option to unblock or block a customer. And from the action button, you can view all the customer details or even edit any customer details if you want. You can also add new customers manually by putting in some basic details or search for a customer right from here. Next, we have the vehicle section. This section is basically to assign a vehicle to your driver. You also have an option to edit, delete a vehicle, or add new vehicles if needed. Now comes the driver's panel. This panel is basically to show the status of the driver, whether he is logged in, logged off or pending. Apart from that, all the information of the driver will be displayed here. Starting from the image, personal information, driver's ID, and total ride count, verge rating, ignore booking count, accept booking count and the vehicle's category. You also get an option to unblock or block a driver, show or hide the pricing, allow the reroute and the action button as usual. Furthermore, you can search for a driver and book according to the search and end date, and add a new driver, if needed. Moving further, now we have the zones panel which is basically assigned specific in a geofence, from where you are providing a service. You can add new zones manually by simply putting or locating the cursor on the map, and a new zone will be created. Furthermore, if needed, you can delete the zone, and you will also get the information about the zone, the driver, the delivery ride, online driver, unassigned ride, and the action button as usual. The Teams module. In this section, you will have a clear display of the team's name, the driver count, the online driver count, ongoing driver counts and the pending rides. You also have the option to unblock or block a team, show or hide the pricing, allow reroute, and the action button from where you can edit or delete a team manually. Apart from that, if needed, you can add new teams by simply adding the team name, the zone and the vehicle. Save and a new team will be created. Next comes the pricing section. Here, you will have a clear display of the pricing name, type, the driver percentage and the action button. Here, you can also add for new pricing according to base, kilometers, minutes, cancellation charges, and other details. Click on the Add button, and the pricing details will be added. Next, we have the Reports section. In this section, you can have a clear note on the driver's reports, starting from driver payouts, pending payouts, and active areas. If you want to download the report of a driver, you can manually search from the start to end date and export the CSV file according to your convenience. Next, we have the Tools module. From this module, you can manage the subscriptions and provide the benefits to your users. You can also edit or delete any subscription and add new if needed. Besides this, there is a surcharge tool from where you can search for the extra charges taken right from the booking count, the amount, start date and end date. 
As usual, you will also find the edit and the delete button, and there is an option to add new surcharge rates according to your convenience. Finally, now we have reached the last module of our admin panel, the settings module. This module covers various verticals because we want it to address all your needs. So let us start with general settings. In this option, you will find the app code, the app store and the play store links, along with the QR code. And now you will get the option to log in. The login option is very dynamic as you need to start with the delivery type proof, time zone, time format, date format, currency, supported country code, navigation, and the wallet limit. When you submit all the details and save, the login options will be completed. Furthermore, now we have the customize option. From this option, you can easily manage the images or logos that you are showing in the app and the admin panel sides. You also get an option to choose the colors and the settings accordingly, that will be shown on the admin panel side simultaneously. And then we have the right allocation. In this section, you can change the right algorithm according to the requirement, which means that there are different algorithms for booking requests which are sent to all nearest available and one by one for multiple bookings. Apart from this, there are options for accepting upcoming bookings and showing the minutes before the bookings on the portal. On top of that, there is also a segment of keeping the multiple bookings options on or off manually. Next we have Plugins, APIs, Webhooks, Billing, and Tags settings that have their distinct specifications. Next, we have Driver Documents. Here, you can easily add the documents of the drivers for the verification process. After adding the documents of a new driver, he can be easily onboarded. Next, we have the CMS setting. Here, you can manage the CMS easily. If you're looking for a feature where you can manage about us, cookies policy, the privacy policy, terms and conditions, and many more CMS pages then this is the best platform for you. You can add and change the same from here, and it will be reflected accordingly on the website under the footer section and in the application as well. Now comes the sub-admin section. Here, you can give the access to another trustworthy person who can handle the project. However, the access is confined to certain and not all modules. Also, in such a case, you can create a super admin and provide credits to that person who can manage it, while you have the authority to block or unblock the sub-admin whenever needed. After that, we have the custom forms. Here, you will have access to the contact us form. Here, the users can fill the basic details that are needed, and a sign-up form is also available, including distinctive properties. After that, we have the bank forms. This is the last segment of the bookings module. Here you manage the bank account details of your drivers precisely. Finally, this was all about the Aptunix Delivery Dispatcher App Admin Panel. As you can see, it was extremely simple to use. So if you're planning to launch your own delivery platform, I recommend you to click on the link in the description and we will get this panel ready for your business. You can also email us your details. Thanks for watching.